Hi, I'm Phil Drone, uh, senior editor at Make, and this is Laura Green. Hello, from Make Industries. And okay. uh, our presentation is Million Dollar Baby. We uh, make hardware and we give away the plans and we let people sell it and share it. And uh, it turns out this is actually a really good business. Uh, Tim predicted this maybe a few food camps ago, and this is what uh, open hardware is. So um, I'm just going to briefly go over what. Oh. Uh, I'm going to briefly go over what open source hardware is not looking. Uh, what open source hardware is basically felt like open source software, except instead of code, we're also sharing CAD files, circuit layouts, uh, core of HDL, um, CPLD, all sorts of steps from the, um, the mechanical all the way to uh, firmware and APIs. Um, so designers or hackers will uh, design gadgets and basically release the files, and then other people can manufacture it. Um, basically put stuff under Creative Commons. Um, the only things that are slightly different are you know, patents and trademarks uh, are more in use because when there's manufacturability, there's also more liability. So um, as is licenses are more important and we're starting to draft um, a license for open source hardware that covers all this. So this, um, I, I count things by like food camps now. There's only a few projects um, early on and now lately we've been doubling. We're up to almost like 300 projects. Um, this year and next year it'll be around 300 open source hardware projects all together. And uh, these are some of the companies. So I actually emailed all of them. They actually told me how much money they made. This is kind of cool. Approaching a million, over a million dollars, and over $10 million. So this is uh, from DIY drones to Wi-Fi alarm clocks. These are companies that are actually selling open hardware. Uh, so the first company is Adafruit. This is the company I run. Uh, we basically teach people electronics and then coincidentally also, could, uh, also sell parts to follow those tutorials. <coughs> We also do weird stuff like how to make your own cell phone jammers, and we make over $1 million. You also have a flashlight that when you shine it, you throw up. Um, next up is the Arduino, and this is where a lot of projects kind of, when you see all the companies, one of the things they have in common is the Arduino platform. 150,000 units sold. There's a presentation, I think on Sunday, a DIY maker fair, there'll probably be some Arduinos. And this is a lot of people doing art projects with this. Uh, Bug Labs is a, a company in New York. They're VC funded. They basically uh, have something that's a more expensive sort of plug and play computer. So you take an LCD, a CPU, and a distant sensor, and you put it together, and now you have like you know some sort of detector. Uh, and they're almost a million dollars. Next up, Chumbi. Um, this was given away at one of the earlier food camps. Uh, open source ambient computer. Um, they have a cool type of patent where uh, it's almost like a patent commons. Um, so when you see some patent reform, a lot of people are talking about doing something similar to Chumbi. Uh, Dangerous Prototypes is a one-man shop in the Netherlands, but um, his stuff's manufactured in China and then sold around the world. Uh, he basically makes like the bin utils of hardware, um, and he's approaching uh, one million dollars in revenue. Yeah, new entry as, as this year. This is DIY drones, making your own military drones. Now it's an open source <laughs> hardware project. The co-founder is editor in chief of Wired, so it's getting a nice push there. And he actually crashed into Los Alamos Labs recently, <laughs> on accident, <laughs> approaching one million dollars. Uh, next up is Evil Mad Scientist Lab, uh, a couple in Oakland, uh, California, and they make all sorts of cool projects from bristle bots to clocks to uh, 3D printers that use can caramelized sugar. Um, and they uh, sell some kits for their projects as well, and they're approaching one million. Um, next up, Liquidware. This is uh, a company that's kind of built around the Arduino project, so we're seeing multi-million dollar companies. They're well over a million dollars. And they make lots of accessories. They're dabbling with open source hardware banking, which I don't quite get, but whatever, they're bankers. Um, they also do hardware. Um, next is MakerBot Industries. They're in Brooklyn, and uh, they have uh, basically CAD plans, electronic plans to make your own 3D printer at home. So you can make your own you know, open source hardware that makes open source hardware, and then you upload the 3D files to Thingiverse, which is our open source hardware sharing platform. Yeah, Bree, co founder of Ignite, was this co founder of that company, Small World. Um, next up. Uh, Maker Shed. So Make is like this giant pop culture, pop culture phenomenon. The gift shop at the end is basically Maker Shed, where you can buy electronics that you see from the pages of Make or from Maker Fair. Um, then there's Parallax. Parallax is an older company that has been doing like DIY and educational electronics for a while, and they're starting to. Uh, they've done open source hardware like things, but now they're formally doing open source hardware. Um, which is kind of exciting because they're sort of a standby and they're over a million dollars in revenue. Solar Robotics, uh, Canadians also um, built around kind of an Arduino business model now selling Arduinos, but heritage of uh, Beam Robotics, robot kits, educational electronics, well over a million dollars as well. Now they're developing their own hardware because they think there's money in that. Uh, and then finally there's SparkFun Electronics in Boulder, Colorado, so selling all the little pieces and parts and sensors as well as Arduino. Um, they have services and uh, manufacturing capabilities in house, and they have over ten million dollars in revenue. Yeah, and they're extremely proud of that, and that's very good. They're leading the charge right now with the, the revenue. Um, so that's just thirteen companies, around fifty million dollars, around two hundred projects, three hundred uh, coming up soon, 
And um, there's dozens more companies, you know, there's only 20 slides that we can do. Um, we think this is going to be a billion dollars in just a couple short years. And that's open source hardware. Because <laughs>